Hey guys, welcome back. Yesterday I was asked by one of my subscribers, well actually several of my subscribers, if I would find the middle ground color for, they were asking for different pencil sets. And my answer is no. I'm going to give you Prismacolor. But I'm going to teach you how to do it because it's so simple. I don't need to be able to find these things for you. You will be able to do it yourself. It's that easy. So I'm going to do Prismacolor for you because that's um, really popular and most people are using them. You've got two pencils in Pr Prismacolor. You've got your Crimson Lake and you have your Crimson Red. So here we have Crimson Lake and Crimson Red. This is where I'm going to begin from. Now, if you look at both these colors, you're going to go to your color wheel. This is the only color wheel that I would say is perfect for colorists with coloring, uh, with colored pencil. This is the one or everybody should own. I still use this thing. Now you're going to go over to your red. Now you can put this up against it. Now you can actually see, obviously, this is not a red orange. Neither is that. Go over to your orange reds. It's definitely not that. Switch right over to your red and it's become blatantly obvious that's what it is. If you turn this over and go to the other side, this is, sorry about the glare, um, well that makes it dark. This thing is just, is laminated so it's, okay, so you have your reds. They're going down towards the muted side, which is fine. Um, it's still not going to give you any sort of reaction with other colors. It's still going to be your pure form. It's just a darker version. So there is no doubt in the Prismacolor set, your two pure red colors are going to be your Crimson Red, your Crimson Lake. And so let's now go on to the orange. Now I have picked out two colors in the orange. And one is orange. And then we have... Cadmium orange hue. Okay, if you take this over to the orange, you can see that this is an obvious, it's not a yellow orange, it's not a red orange. It's going directly down the orange line very easy. Now, the cadmium orange hue is slightly on the redder side. You can see that it is a muted version going down the red side, but it's really not going to give you that much trouble because it does mix in beautifully with the yellow. It's orange, so you're not going to mix it with blue because it's orange. Actually, it's not a horrible color if you mix it in with violet, depending on the violet. Um, as long as it's like a red violet, it does give off a pretty nice color. Um, and you should play with the peaches and the... Um, red violets or the violet reds and the peaches because you can get something nice going on in there. So I'm going to say that orange is the mid color and a darker version, which would be okay, would be the cadmium. It would still look awful if you mixed it with green. <laughs> Put it to you that way. Now we have two colors in the yellow depending on what you want to, uh, a darker or light, and they're very obviously yellows and you have your canary yellow and your lemon yellow lemon being a little whiter and it goes straight down the path you can definitely tell it's not an orange yellow it's not a green yellow it is a yellow yellow okay now your blues i've got two colors here for the blue first it comes with a true blue so, yeah, that goes right into true blue. So that's a definite. Now, another color that has a similar hue, but darker, would be your cobalt. Even though this has a little bit more violet in it. Oh, I'm sorry, China. China blue. Why did I say cobalt? True blue, The only they only have one true blue. Mid-blue. These will not work. These have too much violet in them. So that's why I like having this. 
is because I can immediately see red, orange, yellow, greens. I skipped right to the blues. Okay, so it has true green. We'll do it over here. Then it has light green, which is a true green with white. So you're pretty safe in using that color as your green, depending on whether you want it lighter or darker. I wanted to see the grass green. Let's see where that grass green fits. So we have the greens. It's definitely a green. It's not a yellow green by any means. It's a muted version or a darker version of the green. Okay. <clears throat> so you got your dark, a perfect dark, medium, and light um, they gave you. And this is grass. So you have dark, medium, and light. Perfect trio. They are all pure greens. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Now the violet. Okay, so here we have, here is your violet. And oh, I've got Ming running around on the floor, so I have to be careful where I roll my chair. Ming has learned a new trick. Whenever he sees me getting my camera out, he knows if he stomps around in the cage and smashes his tail against the glass, I'm going to let him out of his cage because I don't want him to make noise. And that's all he wants to be is running around on the floor. That's it. All day long, it's the only place he's happy is, is to be just free out of the cage and running. Right, Beast? I can't let him do that because it's cold. So, uh... He can only stay out for a certain amount of time, and then I gotta bring him back under his heat lamp. Okay, so violet. I only found violet in here. The rest had too much red in it, or um, too much blue. The only direct violet that we have here is, and you could see it right there, because this is very obvious. It's not. There's no question about this. It's it's um, definite. Now. Imperial Violet. Is this a lighter version? No, it's a blue violet. No, I didn't think I thought I tested it before and it didn't really work. No, it's perfect. Right here. Don't mind this splotch, I got it wet. Um that's the color right there. So it's a definite violet. Oh wait a minute. It's a definite violet. I'm get throwing my hands up in the air. COVID brain. And I'm not, I am not like editing this. This is the way, this is what you get when you have COVID. It is. Imperial violet is definitely a violet. It's not a blue violet by any means. No, it's, I was looking straight in my face. The color is right there. The direct color. So this is Imperial violet. Let's see how they do blending with each other. That's nice. It's easy. All right. We've got the violets. The last color in the rainbow is indigo. This is the one color you have to be a little bit careful about. It's a shadow color, and that is true. But you have to be very careful about which skin tone and undertone you're using. I'm going to do a whole lesson on that. So just know that it does have an indigo. Every set, the indigo is either a little bit more um, violet or it could be a little bit more blue. In the case of Prismacolor, they do add a little dark, um, probably a little bit, a tiny bit of black into it, which is normal for indigo too. So it's just a very dark color and there's nothing else in there that matches the one thing about indigo, though, I will say for Prismacolor, is when you add white to it, it's gorgeous. Let me find my white. That's a beautiful color. And it goes right to the blues. It can go to, a little bit to the violet blue, but it's a blue. So... Take that for what it's worth or what you'll do with it. It's just, it's a beautiful color. Play with white, with indigo. 
great match. Okay, so that is your rainbow of colors. Those are the pure colors that come out of Prismacolor. I hope this helps. Now take what I just did, any set you have. All you need is this to double check your colors. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.